Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live and still battling this cold, but getting through these videos as week six NFL kicks off tonight, Thursday night football, Broncos, Chiefs, each and every week I make my picks against the spread and I am off to an excellent start. Knock on wood that it could continue as I've had a winning week in each of the first five weeks. Here is my record. Last week went 9-4-1. and one. Uh, Worst record came in week two at 8-6-2. and two. Three weeks with 10 wins. Total record 47-26-5. and five. Uh, This week's schedule has 15 games on it as the Packers and Steelers have buys. Some challenging games, uh, some games I almost went back and forth with, but let's see if I could keep the winning ways going. Let's get into it, uh, starting with the Thursday night football game. Now, do I expect the Broncos to win? Definitely not, but they have actually kept the games against the, with the Chiefs close. As they've lost the last three, but only by a combined, I believe, 11 points. So, you know, they've always been able to, well, not always, but recently have been able to hang tight with the Chiefs. While the Chiefs are 4-1, and one, you feel like they haven't reached that level they could reach yet. Um, so actually consider this to be somewhat of a competitive game that the Chiefs win, but the Broncos cover. Another tough game, and it's the London game here. Uh, so while it says at Titans, um, of course, it's a neutral site game. Ravens fair by four and a half. Man, the Ravens really should be five and oh. Instead, they're three and two. Um, you know, so many drops in last week's game against the Steelers. Um, they have the better roster than the Titans. They definitely do. You coaching. Uh, even at worst, um, you know, I think they come through with the win to move to four and two, but um, definitely not one of my more confident picks. This pick I am pretty confident in, even with a road team being favored by seven points. 49ers favored by seven at the Browns. Now, yesterday this spread was five and a half, but it looks like Deshaun Watson will not be starting, but Dorian Thompson Robinson will not be the starting quarterback for the Browns. It will be XFL legend P.J. Walker. Um, you know, an absolute stud in the XFL. Not so much in the NFL against that 49ers defense. Man, I can't. I don't anticipate it being a very good first start of the season for Walker. Another tough game because, again, I expect the heavy, um, heavy road underdog to lose, that being the Panthers. Uh, with the 13.5 point spread, though, I am going to take them to cover. I feel like this might be a 14 point win by the Dolphins that would cause me to lose. But um, Devon Achan will be out for the Dolphins. Uh, so that definitely hurts, averaging over 12 yards per carry. Um, but, you know, watching them firsthand against the Giants last week, man, just so much speed. But they do lose a little bit of that. Um, still have Raheem Mostert though. Um, Jeff Wilson is eligible to come off IR, but I haven't heard that he is. Um, Colts plus four at the Jaguars. Um, I think this is a game the Jaguars might win by three. Uh, Richards, Anthony Richardson, of course, out for a month at least. Um, they have been winning when Gardner Minshew has been out there. Jaguars do seem to be playing a little better. Um, the offense did really well against the Bills last week. Uh, Travis Etienne uh, definitely made his mark on that game. Um, but the Colts are feisty enough where they keep the game close. Seahawks minus three at the Bengals. Uh, plus three, I'm sorry. Um... Bengals finally got it together in their last game. Take it with a grain of salt, though. It was against the Arizona Cardinals. Maybe something you have to see again before you uh, believe that they are back. Meanwhile, the Seahawks fresh off a bye. I would say they've looked like the fourth best team in the NFC. And you could say third because they did beat the Lions. Um, but... 
tough game to pick. Um, Joe Burrow, again, finally had his best game of the season. Offensive line still giving them problems. Seattle's got two great cornerbacks uh, they cover. Bears plus two and a half at the Vikings. Uh, don't look now, but the Bears offense, excuse me, uh, the game is in Chicago. Uh, don't look now, but the Bears offense has played much better these last two weeks, especially um, last Thursday night football against the Commanders where DJ Moore had himself a day. Um, the Vikings, of course, will be without Justin Jefferson uh, he has been placed on IR with a hamstring injury. Um, so right now, I just have more faith in the Bears. Um, I think they might win that game outright. Tough game here. Saints minus one at the Texans. Um, even with Tampa Bay leading the division, I still think the Saints are the favorite to do so. Uh, but the Texans have been impressive. C.J. Stroud, of course, set an NFL record for most pass attempts without an interception to start his career as a rookie. Um, so should be a competitive game. Um, I think the Saints eke this out by maybe three or four points. That's the first eight games. Here are the last seven. Another difficult game to pick. Commanders plus two and a half at the Falcons. Um, Commanders giving up the most sacks in the NFL. Will the Falcons have a field day pressuring Sam Howell? Um, Desmond Ritter probably had his best game as a pro last week, but, um, you know, right now I just, again, it's a one week thing, kind of like the Bengals. I need to see more of it to believe in it. Uh, so another competitive game, but I'm taking the commanders, um, to show more what they did against the Eagles, a game that went into overtime rather than that, uh, disgraceful performance against the Bears. Next, we got the Raiders minus three versus the Patriots. Man, um, two teams I don't have a lot of faith in, but I have a lot of less faith in the New England Patriots. Right now, their offense can't catch a cold. Um, you know, Raiders offense hasn't exactly done as well as they could, but look at the names still. Devontae Adams, Jacoby Myers, Michael Mayer um, saw more action. Josh Jacobs, Hunter Renfro. Um, much better offensive line than the Patriots. Um, defenses, I mean, Christian Gonzalez being out for the season is a huge loss. And heck, um, is Mac Jones going to throw another pick six for the third straight week? So I think the Raiders win. And the Bill Belichick hot seat comments get even um, louder. Lions minus three at the Buccaneers. Yes, Lions sure look like the class of the NFC North. While the Buccaneers are off to a very good start at 3-1, and one, these are the games the Lions have to win in order to be taken uh, fully seriously. You know, people still look at their past history, uh, want to see it before they believe it. Uh, so the Lions really have to take care of business here. Rams minus 7 versus Cardinals. This was tough because I could see this, um, you know, hitting the spread exactly. Um, you know, Rams win by 7. But with Cooper cut back, um, you know, Puka Nakua still saw a lot of targets, even with the target monster Cooper cut back. Um, Cardinals haven't exactly come back down to earth. They're still playing uh, gritty, but, you know, one in four, um, you know, they have looked like they've overachieved, but still isn't exactly helping in the win column. This one was hard, too. Um... I'm a Giants fan. I took the Bills in Survivor. 14-point spread. Um, I'm going with the Bills. Um, how could you have any faith in the Giants? I mean, Saquon might be back. Really doesn't matter. Andrew Thomas likely to be out again. Um, the offensive line is just in shambles. Doesn't matter if it's Daniel Jones or Tyrod Taylor starting. They're both going to be running for their life against a Bills defense that leads the NFL in sacks. And our Monday night football game. Cowboys, even after that disastrous performance against the 49ers last week, are two-point road underdog favorites. Uh, not underdog. Road favorites against the Chargers. I'm, I've always been a guy who doesn't fully believe in the Chargers. All that hype. Um, but they have played better in the last two games. Even their record to 2-2. Two and two. Um, at being that they're home, 
Um, you know, I would have picked whoever's at home to win this game. Right now, I'm picking the Chargers. Um, Dak Prescott, can he rebound from that awful three interception performance? But there you have it. Those are my week five picks. Um, let me know in the comments. And I'm actually my week six picks. I apologize. I don't know why I'm saying week five. Must be the cold in me. But anyhow, uh, let me know in the comments who you like for week six. Um, who are some of your best bets? What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Let me know in the comments. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.